have fed all the hypercell's energy. Watch out, me! I thought it before. as hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the hypercell. The hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive. Eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas.
Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I... I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be... Andro Ados. Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No, we're humans. Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then... Why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypersome. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Natibas. The records in the legacy are all true. 
All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Nativa cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, that still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So, you are leaving them? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean, in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Atibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Abe, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. Lily, have you seen Adam? Uh, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So, Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. an Alpha Nativa in the orbit elevator. If it hadn't been for Oracle's help, we might have never realized. Will you be going to the orbit elevator now? I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Are you already prepared to leave? Mm hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but... Well, we'll see what she sees. So physical distance won't really matter. Okay? Let's go. Tell me 
if you need anything. If you need any enhancements, crafting, or upgrades, just say the word. <laughs>